He is a whiz kid with a genius IQ and wisdom beyond his years. Carol Meekins introduces us to a 14 year old student at Carroll University whose overwhelming optimism is positively Milwaukee. At Carroll University, you find a young student who's at the top of his class. He started college at only 14 years old. And after I talked to him, I learned quickly he is wise beyond his years. Here at Carroll University, you'll find fresh-faced students eager to learn. But one young student is in a class all by himself. Monica. A monocode, right? Correct. Anthony Sikorsky, a whiz from Waukesha, who's only 14 years old. I have a, an environment where everybody is committed to learning. And this teen who skipped four grades is undaunted by subjects like organic chemistry, calculus, biology. Are you having any trouble with those hard classes like calculus and chemistry? I'd say no. Carroll University biology professor Dr. Todd Levin has witnessed Anthony's thirst for knowledge. It's so wonderful to watch him pick it at all these ideas and, and get attached to them and learn about them. And I suspect that he's going to discover paths that he didn't know existed and none of us would have expected for him. This brainy scholar started to read at two years old. Anthony's mom, Jill Sikorsky, shares. We filled his life with books. We filled his life with classical music. Um, we, would, we lived at the library. He was invited to the White House as a presidential scholar. This Arrowhead High School graduate is earning A's in college. He is profoundly gifted. He has an IQ of over 180. He's been tested so many times, but that's not what makes him special. And that's true. Anthony's genius is just part of the story. He must fit in classwork between monitoring chronic health conditions. He has cystic fibrosis. He also has um, adrenal insufficiency. He is um, orthostatic hypotension, which is pot, so you can stand up, your blood pressure drops, and it goes low, and you can pass out. He also has Ehlers-Danlos, which is a connective tissue joint disorder, which is why he uses a power chair. And he also takes a growing shot every day because he doesn't grow. Two and a half hours a day are spent using his vest and taking dozens of pills. This is his everyday medication. Every day he takes about 55 pills. But don't think Anthony uses health challenges as an excuse to avoid work. Nobody should treat me differently than anyone else. And health issues have not diminished Anthony's spirit. He's warm, inviting, and overwhelmingly optimistic. You have to maintain a positive outlook overall on life in spite of these difficulties. If you find at least one thing that's gone well for you in a day, then that day is a good day. But if you can take the things as they come in turn and yet appreciate that you have a great amount of blessings in your life, then that is the true key to being wise. This young man with a big brain and bigger heart is already scoring high marks in humanity. You must base your life upon what you do have, what you don't have. So you can't reclaim what you don't have. We can't cause ourselves to get traits that we wish to have that we can't alter. And yet we have enough things that we do have that we can not benefit from to where it's important to focus on those. Because if not, then life has essentially no meaning. Find one good thing every day. Okay, we can do that. You can see a full half hour of positive stories like that every Sunday morning on Positively Milwaukee with Carol Meekins. Catch it right here, today's TMJ4. TMJ4, no more todays. Starting at 9 a.m.